The People's Republic of China PRC self-propelled howitzer program represents a significant effort to modernize its heavy artillery. Over the years, the People's Republic of China has continuously developed and improved its self-propelled howitzer systems to enhance their technological capabilities and operational efficiency. The latest addition to the program is the SH-16A, which incorporates cutting-edge technology, including an autonomous turret and laser ignition system. These innovations mark a first for this category of howitzers, enabling multiple autonomous functions that streamline operations and reduce crew workload. The PRC's advancements in self-propelled howitzer technology also aim to enhance its competitiveness in the global arms market. By offering innovative, cost-effective self-propelled howitzer solutions in targeting third-market countries, the PRC can position itself as a dominant force in the global artillery industry. At the time of its founding, the People's Liberation Army possessed a limited number of SU-76 and other self-propelled artillery models. While these provided some armored capabilities, the small number of SU-70 CXS proved unsustainable in an increasingly competitive international landscape. Economic and industrial developments in the 1950s allowed the PRC to begin research on track-type self-propelled artillery. Drawing from Soviet designs, the PRC developed its first-generation domestic self-propelled howitzer, the 70 Type 122mm, throughout the 1960s. This model mounted a Chinese derivative of the Soviet 122mm gun onto the newly developed 63-type track-type armored transport vehicle. Since then, the PRC has steadily advanced its self-propelled howitzer models, including 105mm, 122mm, and 155M variants. The modern self-propelled howitzer project culminated in the unveiling of the SH-16 in February 2024. A further refined and modular version, the SH-16A, was publicly revealed in November 2024. The China North Industries Group Corporation Norinco has publicly unveiled its new generation SH-16A 155mm artillery system at the Airshow China in Zhuhai. The system's first public appearance showcased its capabilities, including an unmanned turret, automated operation, and its new VN23 8x8 wheeled chassis, marking a significant evolution from its predecessor. The SH-16A artillery is an upgrade from the earlier SH-16 model, which was previously mounted on a 6x6 truck chassis and presented at an earlier airshow. The new version, mounted on the VN23, emphasizes both speed and versatility, with capabilities for remote control shooting. According to Norinco, this artillery system was developed with export in mind. One of the standout features of the SH-16A is its extended firing range. Using rocket-assisted projectiles, the system is capable of achieving a maximum range of 53 kilometers, providing considerable reach for battlefield engagement. This capability enhances its potential value for international buyers looking for a modern, long-range artillery solution that can adapt to a variety of combat scenarios. The SH-16 as unmanned turret and automated features are part of China's broader push towards increased automation and technology-driven solutions in modern artillery warfare. The combination of the VN23 8x8 wheel chassis, which offers improved mobility, and the automated firing system is aimed at making the SH-16A a highly adaptable and efficient artillery piece for diverse environments. Norinco's emphasis on export for the SH-16A reflects China's growing strategy of targeting international arms markets, particularly in regions looking to modernize their artillery capabilities with affordable, yet advanced systems. This new generation of self-propelled howitzer innovation indicates China's prioritization of technological advancements, efforts toward standardizing armaments across platforms, and a focus on the international export market. The last several major iterations of Chinese self-propelled howitzers have adopted the NATO standard 155mm caliber, aligning with international military norms and increasing their appeal to foreign buyers. By transitioning away from smaller calibers and unifying its artillery platforms, the PRC aims to simplify logistics, enhance interoperability, and improve the overall combat effectiveness of its self-propelled howitzer systems. Due to the secretive nature of the Chinese Defense Ministry information on the self-propelled howitzer project's budget and partnerships remains limited. China North Industries Group Corporation Norinco serves as the primary manufacturer for Chinese self-propelled howitzer systems. As a Chinese state-owned enterprise SOE, Information regarding its budget, suppliers, and project partners is scarce. 
However, Narinko is likely collaborating with other Chinese SOEs to source components for its self-propelled howitzer projects. Based on a Pakistani export order, the discounted price for a single SH-15 in 2019 was $2.1 million. Narinko's close partnership with Pakistan is notable. One of the defining features of this collaboration is the emphasis on technology transfer. Pakistan's deal with Narinko for SH-15 shipments included the transfer of technologies that allow Pakistan to produce the SH-15 domestically. The nature of this close and evolving relationship signals that Pakistan may already be involved, or may soon become involved, in the development and production of the SH-16 in future models. The China's self-propelled howitzer export market has witnessed significant success, with multiple iterations of its artillery systems being sold internationally. The PRC has exported 155mm self-propelled howitzer systems to Algeria, Egypt, Pakistan 300 units, Ethiopia 32 units, Myanmar 150 units, Kuwait 54 units, Saudi Arabia 50 units and Sudan. The SH-15 experienced notable export achievements in 2024, with 600 units deployed by the PLA and large sales to key allies. Despite this success, the export outlook remains mixed. Factors such as an underdeveloped procurement system, limited domestic defense competition, and external geopolitical pressures including sanctions, arms control treaties, and Western influence over third market countries could impede future expansion. To counter these challenges, the PRC is employing a four-pronged strategy. First, it is refocusing on civil-military fusion to enhance production efficiency. This policy enables the PRC to overcome the limitations of an underdeveloped procurement system and limited competition by eliminating barriers between civilian, commercial, and military sectors. Second, the PRC is prioritizing cutting-edge technology, such as automated turrets and laser ignition, to increase export competitiveness. Third, the PRC is leveraging aggressive pricing strategies to undercut Western and Russian competitors. The $2.1 million price tag of the SH-15 is significantly less than comparable howitzer models France's Caesar is $6 million, which makes it particularly attractive to third market countries. Fourth, it is tailoring its marketing efforts to meet specific buyer needs. For example, during negotiations with Pakistan, the PRC emphasized the SH-15's ability to fire 155mm shells with nuclear warheads, capitalizing on Pakistan's security concerns with India. Beijing's arms market is increasingly targeting developing countries, particularly in Africa. In November 2024, the PRC officially surpassed Russia as the largest arms exporter to sub-Saharan Africa. As Russia remains preoccupied with the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the PRC has positioned itself as a competitor in traditional Russian markets. At Eurosatory, China showcased its commitment to producing self-propelled howitzer systems with NATO standard 155mm artillery to enhance its land-based weapons exports to former Russian clients. The SH-16A represents the PRC's latest effort to carve out a larger share of the international self-propelled howitzer market.